Hi folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here. Apologies about the laryngitis, but nothing could keep me from giving you guys a run through of the newest features, which are right now being released and announced at Adobe Max. I am there in person speaking, but I recorded these ahead of going because I wanted you to know, I wanted you to be the first to know about all the new features. So there's gonna be a set of these videos and I wanna make sure that you watch them all. But in this episode, we're gonna be talking about one of the newest spot removal tools that has just been released into Lightroom Classic. So let's get started. You do wanna make sure that your version of Lightroom is updated and is up to date. So in order to do that, we'll come up to our top menu and we'll choose About Lightroom Classic. You do want to confirm that you are working on Lightroom 12 point something. Otherwise, you're not going to have some of these updates. Now you can see that I'm working in the pre-release. That's because this literally has not been launched yet. So it's exciting. It's hot off the press. All right, if you don't uh, have the newest release, what you can do you can come to your Creative Cloud account. Uh, you can go to all of your apps, and then you can see here that we see update available. Um, if it says that, go ahead and update, but you'll see that my Lightroom uh, Classic is indeed up to date. So you, if it says update available here, go ahead and just update it. So that's how you update it. All right, so my first thing that I wanna talk to you about is a very cool advancement in the spot removal tool in Lightroom Classic. So if we go ahead and we click on our Band-Aid icon right up here in our tools menu, you'll see that we have a newbie that has arrived, a newbie. This is our uh, content aware remove tool. Now we still have the clones, we still have the clone stamp and we still have the healing brush option, but we have a new one. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So this is the same content aware fill technology that you've seen in uh, Photoshop, for example, but it's now being released into the content aware tool. Now, if anybody, I know we've all been there, we have all done uh, spot removal on one image and then we've synced all the changes to the next image and we end up with phantom random circles of something that's definitely not supposed to be there. So by using this tool, what it's gonna do is it's gonna process and evaluate each image independently. So we're no, so no more are we going to have that reference point that we can click and drag around for this tool. It's just gonna do it automatically. So it's gonna eliminate a lot of that headache when you're syncing spot removals between images, which is great. I know a lot of you must be really happy about that. So let's say we wanna come down here to this uh, backpack. And while I don't wanna remove the entire backpack, what I'd like to do is maybe just uh, pretend like this strap was per se tucked underneath the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my content aware remove tool to go ahead and select the whole thing and then um, Immediately, automatically, Lightroom is going to give you a suggestion. If you're not happy with that immediate suggestion, you can go ahead and use the forward slash key to cycle through different options. So for me, I think that that looks best. All right, I'm going to go back to my fit view. You can see that it's kind of replicated the side of the bag and it's replicated the shadow uh, underneath the side of the bag right there. So that looks like a really good option. All right, let's move on. We're happy with that. The next thing I'd like to remove is this little piece of green branch, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that whole thing and it's gonna give me an immediate selection. Now, if you're not happy with this, of course you can use your forward slash button on your keyboard to cycle through different options. Like that one looks pretty good as it is, but you also have the option to do a couple things over here that I wanna point out. You have your refresh button, which is the exact same thing as hitting the forward slash button on your keyboard. But then additionally, you have a command or control 
plus drag on the photo to select a custom source. This is very similar to the new content aware window within um, Photoshop, content aware fill window. So what you can do is you can almost tell Lightroom what content or what area you want it to use for your reference. So by holding down command or control, I'm going to drag and draw a box around this little crevice down here. And so what that will do is it'll allow uh, Lightroom to actually use that information as your reference to make your fill. So there are different ways to um, make these adjustments. And let me show you another image that's really going to show how much this is really going to help. So if I wanted to go ahead and clear all the people off of the beach, you'd have to start very small and you'd have to literally click one spot and then you'd click and drag to relocate the reference points for each one of those. Well, thanks to this new update, if I go ahead and use the content aware remove tool, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go over this. I'm going to come, I'm going to keep coming. So you can see that I'm selecting multiple groups of people. And immediately this tool is going to know what it wants me to do with them, which is excellent. The other update that this has done is it has allowed for much better um, removal of elements along the edge of the frame. So we used to have problems with that and no more. We don't have any more problems with that with the new update. So what we're doing is we're just removing all the people from this area and pretty much 90, I want to say 90% of the time, it's able to remove the uh, groups without me having to actually do anything uh, or recalculate, if you will, the, um, the, the area in which Lightroom Classic is using to make the reference for this and remove it. So what's nice is that now we can remove all of these groups uh, immediately and all together. So I haven't tried, I haven't tried to remove all of them in one, but that's probably something I should give a try and test it, test it to the limits. Okay, so pretty fast, it even got all of the people that are right on the waterline, which might be a little bit harder of a transition area if you're not giving Lightroom Classic a actual reference point on where to grab the information from. So that's really helpful as well. But pretty fast, if I go ahead and uh, accept these and I zoom out and I hit my backslash key, you can say, see the work that we were able to do in just, you know, a minute. So it really is going to help you speed up your workflow and um, and become more proficient at your retouching and give you less reasons to pop over into Photoshop. So if you've learned something, if you've learned something new, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and ding the bell so that you know when I come out with a new episode. Now, like I said, I'm going to be releasing a lot of these this week, giving you all of the fresh out of the box still hot from cooking in the oven uh, features that are being released in uh, Lightroom Classic. So I really want you to check out all of them. And if you'd like to download my notes on what is new in Lightroom in Photoshop, you can do that at this link right up here. It's sharkpixel.com forward slash max 22. I'll zoom in on this so that you guys can see it forward slash max 22 all lowercase and you can download a full multi-page PDF on all of the good stuff that's coming out for Photoshop. And Max is free to uh, sign up for, and I'm gonna be speaking this week um, on Max as well. So if you wanna see all of the Photoshop elements or items that are new, please go and check out that video. All right, so until next time, I'll see you on the next episode.